Hi there, Arthur. Pearson. Well, you girls How actually appear to be working. City for free and all. While all my world traveling and roaming around, I spied a fair maiden so lovely. Gently I her I did say, she pulled up her garments, so scared it would soil. I out with old Phoenix went for in for oil. I hadn't been boring six inches or more. The oil from my auger so freely did pour. She wiggled her ass, looked up and smiled, said, bear down on your auger, for I know you struck all. Things went on and on for a week or ten days. My auger machinery got to fire in some ways. Oh, well now. <laughs> Should have been on the stage. No more desperate, Strauss. It's in Adetta's nature. Less desperate, then. Well, I should get back to it. Splendid, Mr. Morgan. Folks seem happy, Mr. Morgan. We have been provided for. Well, we have, Reverend. Have a fine time, sir. Uncle. Have a seat and a swig, Arthur. Did you see that woman Mary Gillis about? Yes. Yes, I did. I never liked her. I know. You already told me that. Ideas above her station. Above anyone's station, that one. Hello, Arthur. Be glad Dutch didn't send you back to Blackwater with Charles and Javier. I heard it got bloody down there. Yeah, it worked out, I guess. This isn't exactly an enchanted forest, this place, is it? No. I wonder why they called it Valentine. Thomas Traverse. Seems polar opposite or romantic. Well, I, I got these for you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Williamson. I got all the fish you fools is about to eat. I thanked you already. Wasn't that loud enough? Hey there, Tilly. Hey, Arthur. Okay, boy. What was it? What was it? Just bad luck or bad weather or something else? Something about an eagle or an owl.
Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Hell, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guards, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And where are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. 
Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so it shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha <laughs> oh, ha you're a funny fella, John Marston. From my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. They're left here, towards Rhodes. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Oh, so I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner's sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. No, not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast. Take charitable donations and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody... Mr. Marsh! Mr. Smith! Mr. McGuire! Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still would die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Make that quick and join us on there. Hey! All right! Get on that train! Faster! All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Ah! Everybody stay calm and sure. everybody will get shot! Let's go! Everything you got! Money! Valuable! Please! Please! Don't do it! There you go. Let's make this quick, people! Come on! We ain't leaving till this track's full! Come on! You're better than this! I ain't got nothing. Wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? You're better than this! Please! Don't do I'm this! I'm not a bad Just man! Just don't worry about no! Hey, we're dying, Omar. Tell him, Mr. M. Come on! In the back, everything you got! Yeah, Keep us coming, don't be shy! Yeah, everything you got. People like you make Maybe me what sick. you got, mister. You seem to think you we're playing get I want to count for three. Deal with these two, One, will you, Mr. M? Two. Oh, Here. Thank you, money. Nothing else. Make me hurt you. Empty your pockets, mister. You can be on your way. You're gonna need all your money, my friend. Don't 
Chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna have a right out lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. I don't. And this racket's in there. Harsh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know. That's what's worrying me. These folks are rich, all right. Hurry up in there, will you? Come on, we should get out of here. We'll take that. All right, we should probably be going now. Looking good in here. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many, you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horst, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed, you goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more to turn enough. <sighs> Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. He won't tell you again. Come out now with your hands up. Shit! We got more! Ah! Ah! And we got more! Coming from the trees there!
We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here. Round here. 
Stranger's got a cough up, Pete. I'll wager you're a dead man. I'm just messing with you. Damn jackass. Ah, sorry, boy.
Just take it and get out of here! Go. Get out of here and never come back.
You okay, boy? Let's go, boy. Interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. But I know how to get things done efficiently. Look at me. Why would I lie about this? Arthur, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. <laughs> Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. That's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? Arthur. You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. There, boy. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. 
If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Yeah! Easy! more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, a lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. Oh! That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. We can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon.
Get on, dear boy. the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece and it's a good night's work. So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. Nothing too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah, exactly. How long do you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Easy now. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. <clears throat> Park that thing in here. Quickly. Nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Quite a fit horse you've got yourself there. Hey. Hello, Arthur. You look hard, boy.
You're all right, boy. Hey, I think my back needs some working over. Well, lie down and I'll get cracking. Uh, I don't think so. So, we did pretty well out of that train job, but the law showed up real fast. Too fast? It sure seemed that way to me. But anyway, we made it out. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Morning. Good morning. Hello, Miss O'Shea. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? 
Mount up then. Let's go. Oi! <laughs> You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. Where the bison went, my people went. They were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people... Well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? As clean as you can. Okay. Skin and butcher it. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. Job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them.
look. Bison. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. All right. Lead the way. Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Another dead bison, on the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. What a damn waste. haven't gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Anything? I see some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp. It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. Bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Okay. You see anything? I see some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp. It's where the look. Oh. Right. Let's go. for fun you think we can talk I don't kill for fun I kill when I need to <laughs> look more dead bison it has to be them come on wait up those bison what's your problem i said did you fools shoot those bison mm -hmm. calm down you black or red bastard whatever the fuck you are did you shoot them yes we did 
We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What we? Uh, uh, it's that business of mine. Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, oh, please don't kill me. I'm begging you. All right, I'll get out of here. Just don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. Then run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. Yep. Come on!
So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about, or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you? It just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm a workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? We just need to pick up something. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. I already don't like how this is going. Bankers and big ones. They're tearing this damn land apart. All of it. This place Mr. sure is on the downturn. Okay there. <laughs> the gun store. Yep. Can you uh Head in, pick up a sniper rifle. I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. Oh, well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. Sure. Let's go. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. 
If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name? Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. All right, boy. All right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. That's them over there. The one now. Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Well, looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. That ought to do it. All right, let's go round them up. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here or there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. Let's head for town. You know what? Marston, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to herd. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Go. Quickest route back. 
back to Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. <laughs> Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seen better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you. For 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. But we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Eighteen <laughs> percent. Thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, it never really was. Whoa. Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. Not everything, but in the end, I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never been a man for comp... Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, me, Poe. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold. My good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. 
Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderland! Get out here! Get out what here the now! Vanderland! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwalls. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here! Before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning a yarn, and when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. You think I got where I am by letting Scott watch you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done! Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another who wants to be the Messiah? I mean, no.
back to John's horse and let's get out of here. Just to make sure nobody's following us, we'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure, we can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> Let's get you cleaned up. Ah, I'll stay there, boy.
Slow up now. Yep. the silly bastard's life and you and him go robbing sheep. He's a grown man, Abigail. At least he looks like one. He's a goddamn father. He's got a child. He ain't no father. How are you? I'm just begging you not to get him killed. Yeah, good. Yeah. So, we keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Oh, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find some place sensible, shake them that's following us, and lie low. This is lying low? We turned into a bunch of killers, I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. So, we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Now, where have I heard that before? Hey, Javier. Your horse is looking well. Any new leads? I'm working on it. Well, you just let me know. All right, Arthur. our luck too far before that mess we just made at Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. 
They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? <laughs> yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. The Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. And this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters, I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah, they've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one, which guarantees even more trouble. up ahead the old dried up creek seems very open yeah it does ain't sure to be the best in the rain neither well let's take a look around hey i see something over there you see it someone on the ground there Easy, easy. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm sure of it. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Come, be careful. I am being careful. Someone's been here. Sure. Someone's still here. There ain't no one here now. I ain't so sure about that. It's okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? It's German? No. 
Now go on, get out of here. Go, we need the land, go. Get the hell out of they here. They took off Faza. Who did? Men, last night. Where? Where did they take them? They ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. I think this is the right way. Give me a second. Looks like they go down this way. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Look, they go along the shore there. I see them. Now, I was saying, bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. That kid, it's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well, if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young. A long while. Year him. Hold up. Let me check this. They carry on along this trail. So you was just talking about something? You did. And we was family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. Camp up ahead. Careful. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. So where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. There he is. Quick, cut him free. Let's get out of here. You got your knife there? Vorsicht, Vorsicht! Das I see three coming this way. You get the hell away from him. Why the hell you... Ah!
target. in some pain there. Okay, I'm getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Take you back to your family. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Also soll ich mitkommen? What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. It, how did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Yep. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas, Andreas, ich hab gedacht, du seist tot. Beinahe wärst du gewesen, meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. ist klar. Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! Right. 
Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. Uh. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it.
and maybe we've lost our way. How do you mean? <sighs> Ignore that. I won't pretend ignorance. I know just what you mean. And I don't know. Things seem bad. The world is changing, and... I'm not making much sense, am I? <laughs> no. But somehow, you've summarized how I feel. It, it seems awful. And then, it seems the same as always. And then, it, it seems like there's just no other way. And I, I just... Listen. We got out of worse situations than this. Done plenty of bad things that we've all forgotten about. More than I've heard. Don't take Dutch's patter about redemption too seriously. We're doomed. Just like every other creature on this rock. But unlike them, we'll go down fighting. Is that what you believe? I don't know, son. I don't know what I believe. Apart from wishing I wasn't gonna find out sooner than I'd like. I don't do too much thinking, Jose. Killing's more my thing. I don't believe that for a second. Busy, Arthur. You behaving there, O'Driscoll? I'm not no Driscoll, sir. Sure. <laughs> How are the horses? Okay. Uh, I mean, well, but they could be better. I'm worried. They, they, they've been through a lot. If I had some burdock root, just a couple, uh, I could knock up a poultice, could keep them well, and cure some ailments. Burdock root? Yes, yes, that, 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 that works best. Okay. If I see some, I'll bring it you. Well, thank you, sir. <clears throat>
Peter Strauss. How are you? When I, when I was frisky over some poles and whiskey. I don't need this right like now. Like the waves of the bay of the whiskey. I began to tumble and roar. Definitely a sign. A sign of what? No idea yet. No idea. <laughs> oh well. Bye, Mr. Rabbit. Uh, Rabbit. Mr. Pearson's hot for you. Don't go too close to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Javier, I heard about a house. It could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said, said it was really freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. But they're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course, yeah, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, or less. Yep, <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Now, oh, big place, right? There's a pretty big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. Stash could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees, I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. 
Yeah, so far. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Maybe you hunt and take this time one pound. Creepers, man, don't score no to the Jimmy Fleming's head. Just stay quiet. Where you been now, Newt? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I's gone for ten minutes, I was. Gag on an day now, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, oh, Edie, get all the jam! You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. Your niece will pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. Cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Be What are we doing, Javier? Okay. You take cover by the rock over there. Be quiet. I'll create a little distraction. What kind of distraction?
check in there first. the money or not? Come on. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Here, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. You okay? Yeah. So tell me, was that bad in Valentine? Bad enough to need to move, that's for sure.
easy. Thank you. 